Free Camp email connects to Washington Post hit on Trump. It's time to take a closer look at these emails. When the Washington Post ran a story Monday claiming that President Donald Trump had leaked classified information about the Islamic State group to Russia, the media lit up like a Christmas tree. Finally, an exhausted salon.com editor no doubt exclaimed to himself through a mouthful of organic uh, foe, here's the thing we can pretend to be outraged about for the next month. Thus began a flood of strongly worded screeds from what's become known as the blue feed accusing the president of everything from treason to really really bad treason never mind of course that national security advisor hr mcmaster insisted the president's discussion with the russians were wholly appropriate and that the president in no way compromised any sources or methods in the course of this conversation, according to Fox News. The die was cast in the liberal media and an email from John Podesta may explain why. As you know, the bulk of John Podesta's emails from his time with Hillary Clinton's campaign is now in the hands of WikiLeaks for um, certain reasons. Now, one of the messages he sent about how the left should try and capitalize on leakers is being re-examined. WikiLeaks Podesta's email here. I'm definitely for making an example of a suspected leaker whether or not we have any real basis for it. WikiLeaks.org to from Podesta's emails. The message from the period before Clinton announced her presidential campaign, in it he says, I'm definitely for making an example of a suspected leaker, whether or not we have any real basis for it. The original email had to do with leaks within the Clinton campaign. However, the idea of making an example of a suspected leaker, even if they hadn't done anything, is definitely an ominous one. While the quote has been seized upon by a few conspiracy theorists in the case of murdered DNC staffer Seth Rich, it has a deeper significance to the Clinton people and they, their cohort on the left accusing people of things they didn't really do in just another implement in the political toolbox. We'd also like to point out that if it turns out to be untrue, it wouldn't be the first time a story from the Washington Post that relied on anonymous sources turns out to be fake news. As the Federalist noted, three major Washington Post scoops from the Trump White House that had been obtained by that method, the alleged threat of Deputy Attorney General Rod J. Rosenstein to resign, an allegation that James Comey had requested more sources for the Department of Justice's investigation into Trump's Russia links, and a story that Steve Bannon had confronted DHS Chief General John Kelly were all later denied that's to be expected, but perhaps less expected is just who denied them, namely Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein, the Department of Justice, and General Kelly, respectively. If there was ever a time for a government official to issue a non-denial denial or simply keep quiet, those stories certainly would have fit the bill if they were true. Either Trump is really good at making people lie in a very public fashion, or those rapscallion anonymous source types done did the media wrong again. You make the call. I think you can tell which side I'm leaning towards. We don't know exactly what Trump said at the White House to his Russian visitors that puts us in the same boat as the denizens of the Washington Post and 
the rest of our nation's media establishment who are relying on the word of anonymous sources versus the word of the White House who insist that the premise of that Washington Post article is false. What we do know is that this story, in short, on specific details, that this story is short on specific details, we also know that it comes at a time when the left is doing everything in its power to delegitimize the Trump White House. Given these factors, perhaps it's time to take a closer look at Podesta's thoughts on making an example of a suspected leaker. I so totally agree. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.